I have made a video on why we have CPT symmetry. It is best to see that video first. Basically, if you have a geometric process that is based on the atoms interacting together, when the atoms decay, it will be outside of that process. Because of this, we will need another force. Therefore, we have the weak force and the symmetry is violated. A good way to understand this is to think of the atoms of the periodic table as standing waves in time, with the continuous absorption and emission of light forming the continuum of time. Over a period of time, the symmetry is broken and we have the dominance of matter over antimatter. But at each photon-electron coupling, or dipole moment, we have symmetry between positive and negative charge and mirror symmetry, or what is called parity. In other words, we have symmetry between the future and the past at each moment in time, as the future unfolds, as a process of symmetry forming and breaking. Because what we measure as a period of time is formed by the atoms interacting together, when the atoms decay, it cannot be measured as a process over a period of time, and we have the concept of half-life, and the symmetry of the process is violated.